The following podcast may contain spoilers. Hello and welcome again to Treading the Path of Heaven, your friendly neighborhood web novel appreciation podcast. Uh, I am your host, Jonathan Kenny, joined as always by my fellow co-hosts. I am the knight, Bill Grimion. I am not the knight. I'm rich. <laughs> I'm something. I'm Seth. And there you have it. This one we're doing a heavily requested episode. One I think, honestly, we, we may not have given a full justice to on our first go-round. But unlike our normal episodes, this is yet another rendition of our Treading the Path of Heaven. Knights. 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 This is the first Knights I've been here for. It'll be exciting. Only Richard and I have actually finished the novel in question. This week we will be reviewing Everyone Else is a Returnee. Take two, this time with all the spoilers. So, like, really, if you care about spoilers, if you haven't read Everyone Else is a Returnee, don't listen to this. I, I apologize to uh, Seth and, and Bill, who we will be spoiling this for. Yeah, I'm going to get that shit ruined out of it for me, but enjoy that. That's cool. You get to, that's, that's a cool thing to enjoy. Get to listen to a person go, oh, Fuck! A bunch. I mean, let's uh, let's go ahead and get into it. When we had talked about it earlier, we had, we had kind of talked about just the very basic premise of it, uh, just to kind of touch base on what we had done before. We had talked about the basic idea of the main character Yuilhan, who, which translates to unique or like soul, yeah, basically in a Korean, was He's left behind new. on Earth because God transported everyone to another world and. His unnatural concealment ability, his ability to not be noticed, his social invisibility is so powerful that God himself missed him in this process. Like, it actually is crazy to me that the angel, Lita at this point, is it more blown away that God of all people missed out on this one dude? Well, I mean, she would believe it, but it was an S rank skill. You know, S rank skill and max level. So, like, what are you going to do? It's it's one of the top skills in the universe. Why would you, Ilhan, have such a thing? If only there was some reason. Oh, wait, there is. There's a reason for every fucking thing in this goddamn novel. Because it's all a setup from the very beginning. And I think, honestly, if we're just going to spoil the hell out of this, a great place to start would be, what is you, Ilhan's origins? Are we, can we, can we start with those? Let's just fucking go hard. This is the biggest. This is the giant's. Turn it off from this like, point forward. Okay. If you want to read this, go away. So uh, when I was reading this, I'm like, like you, you get quotes from his mom. It's like, your dad was hard to find, but I found him. Okay. So his father is quite the guy. He's on the level of the faction leaders. In fact, he is a faction leader. Yeah. All right. So um, you know how we have Lita, right? She's yeah. proponing, purporting to be a part of Heaven's Army. Yeah. They fight against all that, right? So there are four factions. All right. They are basically led by the biblical angels. They're not actually the angels but like a Gabriel, of the Bible, but uh, they Michael. are Gabriel, Gabriel, Michael, Uriel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the standard so, asshole angels. So which one is he? Michael? Metatron? What we got? Ooh, who's Metatron? Metatron isn't a thing that I remember. He's not a thing that Damn I remember. Damn it. Um, no. it's, it's, it's Metatron. It's Michael. It's Michael. Yeah. Uh, he was Gabriel. Right, right, Gabriel? His 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 dad is Gabriel. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, Gabriel. Michael was the fucking leader of the. Uh, yeah, Michael Army. was a job. I'm sorry, That's <laughs> absolutely wrong. No, it is Gabriel. Yeah, and, guys. And, and Gabriel's adds this cool ability, right? Not only can he blend in, he's real stealthy, but he has the, the this horrific problem that like great men tend to have in these fantasy novels, where he can see prophetic visions of the future. He can see the mysteries of the universe partially. And he saw some real fucked up shit. <laughs> and he was like, I need to fix this problem before the universe just ends. So he basically moved the entire universe to conspire Yuil Han <laughs> to yes, exist. Yes, 100%. I see. He is the reason why Yuil Han was stuck on Earth for that long. Because he wanted to give his son time to grow. And of course he believed in his son. I mean, it's his progeny. You, Ilhan, is his father's son. 100%. Yeah. Also his mother's son. Oh, no. His mother. I don't know how Gabriel was like, let me go to this backwater-ass planet and find 
impeccable pedigree. Okay. Well, the, the, the reason is, is because she found him and he, like you, Ilhan, has max level concealment. <laughs> so the fact that she was oh, able geez. to find him means she's something special. Yeah. Absolutely. And it turns out she, he makes her something special because when he does the whole you, Ilhan thing, his mom had a very similar experience, except she was not put in a thousand year period. She was put in a timeless thing where she fought against spirits literally composed of time and space. Until she became a master of the elements themselves and was able to break herself out of the spirit. There's no way in. to explain so, how it worked. Like, Okasan sorceress. So his mom is yes. a more baller version of him this it's, whole time? When he becomes strong and like actually solves, I think maybe like the third, not the third cat, not the third great cataclysm. That's a whole different thing. But I think like the third like major world problem he had solved in the course of the story, like he kind of realized that his mom was like, he was like, oh, man, he struggled really hard to solve this thing and do all this thing. And then he realizes, like, way later down in the story, oh, shit, my mom was a fourth-class person at that time. Yes. And could have, like, easily destroyed this thing by herself. She my mom was the strongest the person on Earth she, for a long time. And she's just been chilling, like, <laughs> like cooking food and dinner and hanging out. I'm like, go have fun, son. Well, she could have just solved the problem. So this is just better mom Sakai, right? Uh, I don't even want to talk about Mom <laughs> um, um, It's like, like, Mom Sakai is the mom spent time, like, the heat death of the universe trapped if, in an area where up, down, vision, light, the concepts don't exist with just your own brain and spirits trying to torture you. Essentially, Mom Sakai, if it was fair that she had her powers. Yeah, basically. Yeah. It's Mom so fucking dope, dude. She's no, too his strong. Mom, his mom's great. So this is where you Ilhan, which makes a lot of his birth make sense because like a lot of the circumstances and things that he were put under exist because his father knew prophecy and therefore moved things to exist in that way. Now, the other thing is, is you Ilhan himself because he far outperformed his father's expectations because you Ilhan, my favorite thing about him is he is the one who knows and breaks all four shadows. He's, he's mad genre savvy. So he has ideas of how things are going on so he tries to get ahead of it okay. he like fourth wall break not for actually fourth wall breaks but like he's genre to himself. Sad, <laughs> to himself basically like he's like talking to himself as if he's writing the story going he's like oh I can see where this is going I know how this foreshadow works I read all of the literature on earth <laughs> well <laughs> speaking of genre savvy this book covers a bunch of genres as is noted on novel updates I wanted to name a couple and one see if you could name me stories based on, you know, how they, uh, so like, for example, how is this a harem story? Oh, <laughs> boy. This is, this is a harem story because the main character, being the best person in the fucking universe, quite literally by the end of the story, has attracted many young beauties. As, as we know from Chinese novels... Beauties love heroes, and heroes love beauties. Also, his beauties are are all amazing. You know how in Tenchi Muyo, like the old, like old Tenchi, like first Tenchi Ryuoki, where like two of the girls are just way too good, like just way too good compared to everyone. This yeah. is a situation where like all of his girls are that. All of them are Ryuoki. Yeah, no, King Mirai, head head of the Lightning God Clan. The first person to actually recognize his potential and fight alongside him in the book. I think actually, literally even you had met her in oh, the yeah, 25 no. chapters in the beginning. Th there's a part where everyone se separates and does their own thing. And she she just creates her own version of magic. Her own concept of magic that violates time and space. But it's cool. She has to be at minimum that good to look good enough. To Yo Ilhan's mother, who also violates how magic works. And one of his other people is <laughs> Nayuna, a person literally blessed by the god of beauty, because the god she, is like, you're pretty enough her, to deserve her this. Her power is just, <laughs> she's just that fine. Like, that is it. She could kick a puppy and no one would blame her. <laughs> she would kick a puppy and they would execute the puppy. That's how beautiful <laughs> Nayuna is. She's the and annoying she, mascot character and everyone's still like, yeah! And, and, and the thing is, she gets shit done. Like, she's so pretty. She buffs people by being pretty. <laughs> yeah, she's being around and being pretty. She's so pretty that she's divine because her god is the god of beauty. So the prettier she is, the more divine power she has access like, to. Like, 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 you, Ilhan, was like, did you just look at me and I got stronger? <laughs> <laughs> 
and then of course this becomes that's why she's in a good tra- addition to the harem. Oh yeah, and she's prey to like a god. Yeah. Liera, Lita, Lita, aka yeah. Liera, the, the the angel that becomes Liera, goddess of love. Yeah, it gets similarly blessed by the goddess of love because of how obsessed she becomes with you. She Ilhan, loves you, Ilhan, because she spent thousands of years with yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. And then like like it is the OTP, right? The one true pairing. From the beginning of the story, like from the from the very beginning, this is a thing that's gonna happen, and she gets more and more powerful because she manifests a spear of love to kill people. It, it's it's so sick. It's pretty great, but like that's it is definitely a hair. It's like it's to the point where it's like they are they are a couple that is like not able to be defiled until it becomes the point where Yuhilon ceases to be. A being that is close enough to a human that it's really fair to trap him by human mores anymore. Why am I, how am I not talking about Spierra? The Spierra relationship is fucking hilarious, okay? Spierra? Okay, Spierra. Is the third angel that he contracts with because Heaven's Army really and, starts and, to invest. And, and, oh, yeah, because they keep giving him stuff. But she was like a step above everyone because it was Erda and Lita. And Lita, because of her service, got buffed up to Liera because again they're like they're yeah, like when you when, as, in Heaven's Army when you raise in ranks the end of your name changes appropriately not yeah. unlike Final Fantasy magic so it started as Lita she became as a fifth level because that's what fifth ranked deep beings are and that's why Erda the other mangel right, also, also has the tie ending yeah. but then Lita gets upgraded during the course of the story that she, so she becomes Liera it's also really hard to get to like the TA ending like Erda. It's hard getting there. Yeah, like, no. she had to be, she had to rise up from being a human being and then class up to angel and then rise up several more times. Like, yeah, no, I was like 70,000 years old. Fifth, yeah. And she's and young. She constantly, and she, yeah, and she's, she's young. young for an angel. 70,000 years to get to that point. She's a genius. Yeah, no, she is actually. Genius of geniuses is actually um, intense. But no, it's like to, to be a fifth level being means you've basically transcended a, a mortal world. Angels are beings that were basically the best person in their world and broke out of their plane. Ooh, baller. And got recruited by heaven to break out. And that's for all of the different factions, right? Because because you've got heaven's army. There's the garden of e of um God. What's the name? Yeah, Gabriel's faction. Gabriel. Yeah, his dad actually is the leader of one of the factions, which works out because that's how you made like the best character. Yeah. What is it? Yumin? Yumir? 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 Yeah. Did Yumir. Bert- his son. His son. Yumir. All right. The first first son. Not not the only son. First son. Yumir. There was a beautiful concept that. <laughs> That you Hunt's mother has, that is, I want to see a soccer match of my grandchildren. Oh, Jesus. It happens. <laughs> it happens. Uh-huh. And it's awesome. It's amazing. And they're all monsters. Because they're all like <laughs> insane, <laughs> higher level, super powered. These, these, these are the yeah, children yeah. of the god of gods. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, no, the, the four high level factions are Heaven's Army, Army of Brilliant Light, Gar- Garden of Sunset, and the Destruction Demon Army, which are pretty much all run by archangels or equivalents one of them's run by satan spoilers oh i like the <laughs> oh, okay the destruction demon army's leader is fucking dope okay fucking cool all the interactions ilhan has with that guy, i forgot his name greed greed all the interactions have with we're greed, not we're not we, we can spoil everything it's so it is actually god sick. the god of heaven runs away there's a big part of the story most of the story is about the fucking angels god disappeared and the angels are like oh how do we how do we fix that what do we do that's literally what the majority of the plot of this book is about um and like it, gabriel literally realized that to be able to free god they had to kill all like all of the archangels the four archangels uh, to free so. the power of god so it could like go back and stuff but then, of course, you Ilhan being the one who breaks all four shadows and decides his own path and gets around it. But that's because he's you Ilhan. Uh, like, but anyway, we've gone way away from uh, harm. Give me another well, genre. Well, not only that. To top it off, what's the number? What do you uh, What do you think the number hits for his harem? Oh, <sighs> what what a uh, what major harem? I, yeah, major characters. I don't, I don't like like, like ones named that characters. weren't confirmed harem members. I would one, two, three. God, okay, I only remember the, the, the girls I really care Lita, about. Lita, Erda, uh, Spira. Was Spira? Yeah. I don't... She I was part of the she, harem. Yeah. I don't remember her actually being part of the harem. 100% she jo- she loves she him. Got, and he recreated her. I do remember and her she became recreated. A wife. Yeah, I just didn't remember the... Yeah, Spira. Yeah. That's so whatever. many spoilers uh, in, like, in like so many declarative statements. <laughs> we told you uh, we were going to be spoilers. Okay, Dragon's Nest... 
pretty much every female that isn't like Michael Smithson's wife, uh, Catalina or, or Katarina or. Tell me about Michael Smithson. His name is incredible. I'm sorry. Michael the Smithson Metal is an American? From Br- Britain. He's For, British. British. Sorry. Michael Smithson is British because he's with the Metal Knights. They're big, like, sh- tower shield holding guys. Defensive. And they're like, we're the defense shield. It, we're it, never going to have to use offense. We, we and then, like, to... they immediately learn they need offense. So they team up with the, the most offensive group of mages. The Italian the chick and her ma- her mages. Of course. And they, like, over, they have to survive alone on, like, apocalypse planets. Planets start dying. And, it, like, like you Han had to rise up to save these key people. They all got, like, apocalypse planets. Like, Michael Smithson was defending like they went through hell and back which forged their relationship yeah it's kind of cute because he he was really into kang marai like michael smithson wanted him some kang marai he was sauce one of the definitely in the hair like beautiful intelligent incredible oh, insane poor guy. very much uh think uh kaguya sama okay <laughs> from kaguya wants to be confessed you could see like the jealousy as katarina was getting Feelings for Michael Smithson, you could see like the saltiness in her interaction with the one woman who's better at magic than her, and that she knows of because no no one knew about you, Ilhan's mother, or else it wouldn't be a competition. No, it's like that uh, that interaction with that one chick from um, Seven Deadly Sins and uh, Gil Thunder. That's that's a very yeah. yeah. That, that was the thirstiest bitch of, of all time. Oh man, she uh, just like. <laughs> but yeah, no, I I think. There's five that I can think of off the top of my head that I can confirm. So not which Yuna, were Yuna, Mirai, the three angels. The three angels. I'm trying uh, to think if there was the other. princess, the Wolfkin princess. Well, she, she had, yeah, she has yeah, a kid. Like in that I last chapter, she hits up with like Flimmer though. I couldn't nah, remember. Nah. But no, nah, it was yeah. That was right. his woman. Like, it was just a lot of. It girls. was a lot of women, and then like his armor became people. And then they dated. People are people like And they're great. Right. Like, like, you don't understand. His house. No, no, no. When he, and his no, armor. He, he they built and armor, have kids. Infused a spirit into it. And then became so powerful that he then created a body that his spirit armor could then inhabit the body. And then his armor and his house, which he had also infused with the spirit and gave him a body to, fell in love and had kids. Oh, <laughs> it's like Andy and Sarah. From Eureka. It is, yeah. It's kind of adorable. Much. Yeah. <laughs> it was beautiful. It's actually incredible. No, the I love them, by the way. The house is I love the house. Cause she was okay, she was a bad guy. She was <laughs> born Okay. This is another spoiler. That the I, house no was a bad about, guy. It needs to be talked about. So in the, the year the, the thousands of years, he will the thousand year he's alone on the planet, everything's frozen except for animals. And he's hunting and fucking with animals in nature. And there was one animal that was like, fuck that guy. <laughs> and it's like, all, built up he, anger and aggression. And There's all this one for thousands years. <laughs> for thousands of years of, this dude's been killing my homies. We gonna get back at this motherfucker. What, what, what was the animal? What kind of animal was it? Yeah, I forgot his name. Remember, but-, but he became key to fighting the war. He's like a doppelganger of Yu Ilhan. Oh, okay. He's like using Yu Ilhan as like the prototype for getting strong. But at the same time, he like, Cultivates his own way of stuff and it creates beings on the level of like demigods to fight Ilhan. So sort of like the doppelganger from Overgeared. Oh, uh, wait, wait, like, yes, if it was also an evil mastermind. Oh, okay, cool. This guy just like really had the bone to pick with humans and you, Ilhan. It, it just kind of like, came out of nowhere. It didn't come it out of nowhere. It was very much there. It was the thing that you were like, uh, I'll figure out what that is until it was the problem. Why does bad shit keep happening in Korea? <laughs> oh, yeah. Nature wants me to die. <laughs> Because Nature is real mad at me. Yeah, the literal spirit of the earth is pissed at me. But that that guy's also a bro later. <laughs> so yeah, it's just- fine. <laughs> Yu Ilhan is real good. Well, he becomes a reaper. Like, that's one of his major identities is, like, literally a soul reaper. So he, he, as he starts killing people, he just, like, captures all their souls. And, like, they all, like, talk to him or he, like, shuts them up. Or, or whatever. Or feeds him to the boy Orochi, the homie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, one of the first Jesus. things he killed was, like, a straight-up, like, eight-headed Orochi. Wonderful. Um, uh, and that's and how he gets the code, uh, the name Susano. It was, uh, I think, the, one of the first Japan. things he killed once he hit his third class, which is when he got Reaper. Yeah. Or maybe it was second. Like, when he got the, right after he got the Reaper class and got the ability to collect souls, he killed Orochi. 
and then trapped him and then made a spear. The equipment in this book is so fucking cool. Because he's a blacksmith. Yeah, like, blacksmith he's himself. legitimately his main identity. That's yeah. actually the next tag I was gonna say was blacksmithing and uh Yeah, well let's fucking talk crafting. about let's talk about his fucking crafting then because it's important. He becomes a master of three separate skills. Um soul like it's soul enchantment, uh uh magic in engineering and blacksmithing. Right. And he and by the end combines all three into basically just creation. Because that's basically the point is he steps in and fill ends up filling in the steps of the god of creation. That's how good of a blacksmith he is. He gains the ability to create something from nothing eventually. The god of the god the god of like blacksmithing was mad salty, by the way, that this kid was so good. Like, like it, it mirrors on. it mirrors that with Overgear. How Overgear at first that got a blacksmith hated his fucking ass <laughs> until they had to fight. Until mindful, they had to fight. <laughs> mindful, this is not Overgear. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, no, whatever. Uh, uh, spoilers for anyone who's reading Overgear. But you know, actually, that is not a huge. Well, whatever. It's really not, but. We'll talk about it later because the Overgeared Nights episode is coming at some point. Yeah, it's coming. We're it's looking coming for next, it. Honestly, maybe. might get split up into like two or three because there's a lot of shit to talk about. I don't know if I'll be able to do it justice in one hour. Okay, so the blacksmith god hates him. the The gift he gets from angels also, bro. He gets a, he never has to worry about a forge again to forge things because he gets the homie, which is a flame spirit yeah. that also I becomes that a guy. dude. Oh, I didn't know it was going to become a dude. That's too cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, from the sounds oh. of it, everything just levels up Come until out. it becomes dude. Because a woman. Let me phrase it. Oh. The, the flame spear is a woman. Part of the harem? She loves him, but I don't know if it's part of the harem. Yeah. Things. Would he stick his dick in a flame? I mean, he could. He could. Yeah. Flames can't hurt him. That's it's part of his domain. Point, like, he is literally the god of fire. They set it up so that ah. he can fuck that flame lady is all I'm saying. He There's could. a person who tries to fight him with flames and it's like, actually should be stronger with him, but he's just kind of like, uh. The forge in me, like this, son. Like, like, like this, son. <laughs> no, but, um, he, when he fights Orochi, he builds a spear that has eight separate tips that can separate and that he can use mana to inject into them and control them individually. But he inserts Orochi into that so that he has a spear that is typically at one point but can split into eight points. So he gets gifts for for doing all this shit for, for, for the angels. He gets one gift, which is like a uh, limited time stop in an area. Uh, what is it? What is it in the form of? Is it like uh, an hourglass of eternity? Ah, oh, okay. Does he break it, or does he? It is. It is like a god tier artifact, one of yeah. the few that Heaven's Army had. But honestly, like the issue was, they kept giving you Ilhan jobs, and he kept beating them so far over the expectations and minimum requirements for the tasks that they had to give him over and above rewards and send more angels down to contract with him because it's like, oh, we need you. We've given you too much stuff. We need to have people watching you. <laughs> he uses that, so he but can it's have fine these... because he just like. Ma- Takes them all. You know how in cultivation novels you like go into seclusion to do your shit. Yeah, he goes time to pop this hourglass and spend way too long crafting. Yeah, yeah. Oh. at the beginning it's just it's a month I think yeah. is where it starts. But and eventually then, he learns how to like make it better so it becomes longer and that becomes hilariously broken as it moves on because he, he can bring people in there. Yeah, it's not just him. He can bring other people in there too. So it's it's the world, but even better. Yeah. yeah. No, and he Especially does. In he bad does, situations. He's like, I need to. <laughs> there's a pause time this. he's fighting dragons. He's fighting dragons, and he gets to the point where someone's about to murder him. And he's like, All right, pause. All right, now I've got a month to build traps around all the existing dragons around me, and also train myself and craft with all the dragon materials I just harvested. Let me make this okay. Pal Bunker becomes his. I am losing. I need to fix this problem. There's a point where he's like, My Pal Bunker isn't strong enough. And then he let me just craft a better pile bunker. Pile, pile bunker <laughs> using the pieces of these dudes I killed. Like yeah. tendons of these magical creatures are stronger than steel, and he's making it and doing it. And he's like, "I'm not strong enough to fucking pull this shit back." And let he's me very, it. very strong. He was making like like single use pile bunkers. To murder things. It's yeah, like a he'll take, bomb goes off. It's so great because, like, he'll be in a world where people are literally killing each other and plotting over, like, th- a single third class magic stone. And he has used a fifth class magic stone in a one time use item that will be consumed and destroyed after it is used once. <laughs> no regrets. Zero regrets. He because, can- A, he has thousands of third class <laughs> magic stones. 
It's funny. He becomes like so good at killing dragons, but then like he is the father of dragons. So like it's fine. Dragons <laughs> dragons are cannibals. They gain power by eating the meat of dragons. Yeah, it's you're fine. right. You're right. That's Can we awesome. talk about Ymir, please? Yeah, Ymir, his son, who's the I best. I love, love Ymir so much. He's like, All right, do that before Bill gets one more genre in. Yeah. Tell, us, tell us who Ymir is. Okay. All right, Ymir is his son. And by his son, there's this female dragon in one of the first worlds he goes to. He kind of always has this thing with dragons because, like, he kills Orochi, and the, the spear he builds with Orochi has dragon slaying power, so he tries to find, like, dragon folk kind of things to fight, to farm, because he can fight higher level stuff against them he is essentially aware that he's in a story he's not but he's like things follow convenient plot points too much it's not supposed to but it has been so now i just get it and now i'm just going to predict things based on it gotcha genre savviness as we were talking yeah, about he's just genre savvy and it doesn't bite him ever no it doesn't because yeah. he is the one who predicts and creates all foreshadows so when he goes to the elf's old world that's yeah, taken over by dra- dragons he meets this one dragon that's going to join the Garden of... The uh, Garden of Sunset. His Garden his of Sunset. Thing, although and at she, the time he doesn't know it. And she asks him to take care of one thing inside of her mountain before she gives her life to save him. Because of all that. Skipping past that. It's actually really awesome how they set this up. But he gets there and he uses his magic to open this thing up. And it's her unfertilized eggs. And his magic fertilizes the eggs. Oh, no. So it becomes... Nice. So a dragon is born. That is his son. Looks just like him. Is It is a human shape, but it is a dragon. And dragons he also become has, dragons when they become fourth class creatures. They also have cra- he has crazy amounts of dragon meat at this time. Because this guy is... People pay him to dismantle things because they kill shit they can't take, a, take apart. And he's the god of dismantling. He he's because just that was so, another skill he taught himself in the thousand year gap because he was killing and hunting every animal on planet Earth, which is why that one guy hates him. That's why Mother Earth hates him. It sounds like RuneScape. Like he <laughs> just was. He had unlimited leveling in RuneScape while yeah. everybody was gone. No, he went yeah. through and got everything to ninety nine. Like every single thing he leveled all the skills up to 99 like he, he perfected his potential without leveling at all because he had no exposure to magic that was one of his limited factor he didn't have magic for a long time so his body was honed to a fine point but that's actually why they sent angels to him because the angels literally existed there to draw mana closer to him to acclimate him to mana faster to catch up to everyone else on the planet give him more angels please he, he's gotta <laughs> catch up to <laughs> that this. is what happens but the beauty of it all is the son is born with all the qualities of you, Ilhan. And his mother. And his mother. So he's very... He, so he has dragons and eight talent for magic? Ma- yes. But he's good at learning. He's diligent. He's hardworking. He has his father's stealth. Except his stealth covers everyone because he loves people. Aww. And you, Ilhan, also really took mean. a subclass called Dragon Rider. So Aww. he gains, he and Ymir both gain stats when building each other, and eventually Ymir does become, like, his mount, and they are terrifying. <laughs> there was a moment where Yulon was fighting, like, a 7th rank being, and he, like, he killed a 6th rank being, rever- or he attacked the 7th rank being, but didn't kill him in one hot hit. So the 7th rank being was able to see through his concealment. He shines with fire so bright that the guy can't see his silhouette and then uses that to conceal. Yeah, oh. that's like that's like inverse <laughs> hiding in the shadows. It's it's like that episode of Samurai Jack. There's a part where for a period of time Yu Ilhan is cut off from his loved ones, his friends and his son. His very very young at this point weak to Yuhan, but strong to other things, son, in a place that's so high level and so barren like a fucking hell. And Yu Ilhan uses his stealth to a level that he's pushing his stealth to a level he's never had to do before. For just for them to survive. Killing things. I think you mean Ymir. Well, I mean, I mean Yuhan does, does no, his no, own no, stuff. No, 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 Ymir, my bad. Ymir yeah. pushes his stealth to protect everyone yeah. till his father can get to them to free him from this yeah. fucking hell. There's a certain point at which you Ilhan gains so much strength that the universe starts making Earth's cataclysm happens way too fast. <laughs> it's because, like God because he's there, so he basically has to leave Earth at a certain point and be like, "If I go back to Earth, 
its great cataclysm will immediately happen and it will become a higher ranked world and then every other higher faction can invade it and they will fuck up the entire earth immediately so I can't go back to earth until I'm strong enough to personally prevent that he also turned the entire planet earth into a smart uh, smart TV that that's a thing that happens that that doesn't matter Ymir okay yeah yeah so Ymir gets left the, the reason why this is irrelevant is because when he can't come back to earth the people who control Earth, or like they're still kind of have a have a sway over Earth, they return everyone that was sent out, like all the quote unquote returnees. Yeah. They send them back to the planets they got sent out to, and no one is left on Earth, with the exception of kids born all of the babies after the things were sent because they had nowhere to get sent to, so they get sent to like actual hell, which is like a pit, uh, like a hidden pit inside of Earth, but not Earth at the same time. Filled with these monsters, and Ymir saves all of the babies <laughs> and then raises them into an army, <laughs> and they consume the bodies of these like demons. Yeah, yeah. and then and like, 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 eat like eat this demon meat, it will make you strong. <laughs> and like Ymir's like like ten here, taking care of like An between army of two to one, like, like one to like, two like, like the oldest is like seven, the youngest are like infants. And some infants were still nursing so they died instantly on the swap. So he saved as many as he can, and they have to like, use team so they all have like, max teamwork feats, and <laughs> like, <laughs> this is the baby army. And they love you, Mare. Like, like yeah, everyone loves you, Mare. Well, of course, well, he everyone saved loves everyone. Regardless. Uh, regardless, but these children Especially love Ymir. And then because they love Ymir, they love Ymir's dad. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Because Ymir's dad is well, like. Ymir also spends the entire time being like, well, if my dad was here, this wouldn't be a problem. He'd just instantly kill all these people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Which is true. All right. So, all right. Give us another genre seven because we, I want to get one more in, but I have to talk about when he becomes Susano. Continue. <laughs> it's hard because there's like three of them I really want to talk about. One of which is Shameless Protagonist. I mean, it, he's shameless in the sense that, like, he'll just, like, walk into your headquarters and be like, I'm just gonna kill you all. I'm just strong enough to do it. Sorry. That's a cool story. When, okay, was it Argentina or was it, or was it Brazil? I don't remember what it was. I'm gonna go with Argentina because I like saying Argentina. Mm-hmm. It's invaded by another stuff because they have, like, world wars. They have, like, literally realm wars, right? And because they want to take over our realm because their realm is dying because they're losing shit, they literally killed all of the Argentinians. And then like war put their like bodies skin. on as suits. Oh no! And Ilhan saw this is like, oh no, all you dudes gotta die now. And so he just he, kills Argentina, all of Argentina. He has to kill them all. And then he like finds the p- weird portal they made in deep in the ocean. Goes in the ocean, goes to their planet, and has like a face off one man versus your entire realm. And he won very hard. But Jeez. but like the battles were legit. Like they had like the. Super dope dude, like you, Ilhan of Dare World, and that fight was fucking sick, dude. Was like, 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 it was, like, like that dude was like part of his head's blown off, and he's still fighting because if he doesn't win here, their realm goes away. <laughs> but also, the part of the shameless is like him freezing time in the middle of a fight, like the fact that his concealment is one of his main weapons. So most of the time, he wins fights in one hit without his enemy ever being aware that he existed. There's like a baby monster that appears towards the beginning and he kills that baby using the body parts of his mother that he crafts into weapons designed to kill it. Yep. That's a thing that happened. Hardcore. Yeah, no, he's, he's pretty intense. Like he, <laughs> that's the most metal thing you've ever he said. A, he has a bottom line and like what he defines as good, he very diligently pursues. He's, he, a, he's beyond, there's a point where he's like he's beyond the morals of human. Yeah. Humanity. Like when you're dealing with like the fate of the universe, thankfully he has wives which keep him like balance him out, but he has very much begins to gain the mindset of that of a dragon. Mm. Like and a god. And a god. Like a dragon god where like That doesn't sound like a healthy crazy. You're all my you're all my children. Everything that wants to be a dragon, like wyverns, wyverns are not dragons. All right? They want to be dragons. They want to be dragons. If you want to be dragon, if you become strong enough, I will make you a dragon. Because one of the best things Aww. he invents is a literal thing called the Cradle of Miracles, which was just a vat he made. It was and just he a did bucket. so much creation inside of it that it became a literal god this, this pure was, artifact. This, this is 
fate wanted this to happen. Okay, Ymir was hungry, and he has a bunch of dragons. He just killed a bunch of fucking dragons. I'm going to feed Ymir dragons, and I'm also going to make gear at the same time. But I'm bleeding these dragons out. I need somewhere to throw these blood because I'm taking it apart. So he puts the blood of the dragon in a bucket. He'll do something with it later. <laughs> he just I'll figure out what to do like this. The, the blood of dragons and the hearts of dragons are filled with so much pure magic aether that it like transforms the bucket filled with dragon blood in the bucket. Also Anything he puts in it, it ferments. He makes like wine, dragon and, wine, like, things like he's like, oh, where the fuck am I make something good? Let me throw this in this bucket, and the bucket like turns it into awesome. He he yeah he, he bathes starts, in the bucket. He starts using like the rest energy, like the life energy from dragons and stuff to to like fulfill his requirements for resting to level up his like resting skill. He doesn't rest for long periods of time. Oh yeah, he's super an S rank. At by the resting. way, it's a it's a super S rank ability. Rest is so hard to like. They're like shook when they're like, "Wait, you have a max level rest? You have max level rest? <laughs> Fucking hell. like, Ernest, like how? Like it's, how did it, you get? How? I sleep very efficiently in between blinks. Like, just like <laughs> just that's a power nap right there. All <laughs> right, so give give us one more genre. Let's do it. The last thing was lack of common sense because that one was just that seemed neat. Everything Johan does lacks common sense. Yeah, he defies. It's 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 less lack of common sense and more Gurren Lagann kick common sense to the curb and do the impossible. Mm. Like, uh, a denial of common sense. Yeah. Half of this novel is people being like, well, this is why this couldn't possibly work while he does it in front of them. He th- he gets, like, dudes that he thinks are rivals from, like, the Destruction Demon Army. They think they're... That was another, by the way, that was another one. Remember the the the, the sick succubus chick? Oh, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, that was another one of his That's harem. another one of his harem wives. She and was she's... the person who was so strong that, like, people above her rank were scared of her because she would just, like, seduce you and no one could resist her. And you would just die. But... He's literally being seduced by the person who is blessed by the god of love and the god of beauty. And, and she, like, has I, such a deep emotional connection that he's like, I don't even give a shit about you. So he just murders her and captures her soul, <laughs> creates a homunculus and puts it inside. And but, it's like, you work for me But now. she had come advantage. over because she was told in a prophecy. By Gabriel. By Gabriel. <laughs> that you're going to fall in love with, like, the person that will destroy. The fifth. The, the fifth, fifth, the magical, the fifth, you're gonna, the, the leader of the fifth faction that doesn't exist. So yet. she was super into him before. Like she wasn't going to fight him back, but he was like, fuck you. Cause you, <laughs> you were dealing with, you were hurting my, my women and my people, but like whatever. But she like serves him. She like, she's all about some Ilhan. Like when she was a spirit, she was like, but I wasn't, I love, I love you. I love you so much. You're fucking, she's like, no, 100%. She loves him. Yeah, yeah, no, she, there's, there's like, they kind of like tease a betrayal now. But she's Not her, also, no, she's 100% you will have She's fanatic. like extra badass, like she could hold off Heaven's Army by herself. What was I saying when we got, I got distracted? Uh, like, lack of common she sense. Was doing, yeah, from lack of common sense. Oh, yeah. Just, just. He just, he everything he de- deals with what, just ignores what common sense. What genre would you say most fits this book? Like, what? What's the one thing that you could classify it as the hardest? That's really hard to say. Oh, man. It, it, it's it encompasses so much. That's It's got good comedy. World building. It's really good comedy. Like, there's a part where he has to, like, get to America and gets on, like, a plane, right? Blending in on a plane because he couldn't, uh, like, couldn't buy. He, didn't, he doesn't have his own private plane. He doesn't have enough money. Yeah. So he, like, sneaks onto, like, a commercial plane. He's dealing with things, getting there. Puts on a helm, dealing with shit. But, like, the interactions with, like, American returnees or like all of his interaction with Na Yuna and King Mirai's brother. Hilarious. It's really funny. Like I love all the people that like try to be rivals with Yu Il Han over the course of the story and then eventually you're like, Alright, now I give up. Yeah, well, like, re- remember Easter that good. destruction <laughs> demon army guy on the planet that like rises up to the destruction demon army, comes back and he's training he's Taraka the been, Dragon? Yeah, always been the strongest. He's like, you're my rival! Ah, and he gets body. <laughs> but like, this guy was like a genius of geniuses. Like, he rose up in like no time at all. He was insane. Incredible potential. Doesn't matter because you're just a job. Like that. Oddly enough, a really good contender for top genre would be game system. You got max level resting. Yeah. But no, the, the Akashic Record, which is a thing we've talked a lot about but not actually touched upon. It's so cool. Is like the game system of this it whole series. It seems like a concept that exists in a lot of things. Well, like, it is, but it's very specific in what it is in this universe. It's like the universe has a mana 
at, if, if when mana exists, it creates records of what has happened that while it's touched, yeah, basically. Yeah. So when someone does the craziest, greatest blacksmithing achievement ever, they become saved in the records as like this person was the god of blacksmithing. Just the concept of it. When that person dies or goes away, their soul, their their existence is locked of, in the all record. All their records don't fade? Because that's, that's really all a person is. You're just an amalgamation of the records that you were able to create by being alive. And these people were such the paragons of what they've done, which there's power in being good at anything. Like a DAO, these people have taken their DAO to its final level. But that's a funny story because God had an issue with yeah. these people who've taken their DAO to their ultimate level. And that kind of is a driving force behind why God did the things yeah. he did. He's a petty bitch and he wishes he was better. And like he isn't. And so he got sad about it and then left and became Greed, the leader of the Destruction Demon Army, and trapped all the gods of the Akashic Records in like a tiny old subdimension and has been slowly using them to analyze the Akashic Record. And, 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 and try and his create own. his own system that is outside of it because he feels mana is a mistake and wants to erase the system. But that means he also has to erase the Akashic Record, which is tied into his own power. So he has to make a simulacrum of it before he can destroy it. Yeah. And then, and then like merge his own self with that concept. So by destroying the universe as a whole, the multiverse as a whole, he himself will not be destroyed. And this is why he has been actually advancing the worlds and making great cataclysms happening and in creating the circumstances for higher beings to exist because he wants more of these gods and more of these records to be established so that he has more fodder to use and analyze to create his broken universe, which is referred to as Harmageddon. <laughs> Dan would love that. Not, it's, it's actually not because of harm. There's a metal called Harkanium, which is... What most of the angelic and like top tier equipment and stuff in the universe is created like out of. Like Hark, the Herald Hark, Angels thing. Essentially, yes. Disgusting. Harkanium. And it is Armageddon combined with Harkanium. Harkanium Armageddon. Harmageddon. That's not explained for like 60 chapters. Mm -hmm. So they the let, term, they let you think that they're dumb. After the term exists. They let you think that they're like, wow, that's really cheap and kind of dumb. And then they're like, actually, no, we're not. No, this was planned since yeah, the very beginning. For a good reason. Satan. Not a bad guy. Yeah, Satan totally chill, actually. <laughs> Satan has <laughs> never been a bad Satan guy. legitimately, just in the story, helped the underdog and tried to prevent all the archangels from killing themselves to solve the problem. And, uh, and yo, I give Michael and the other archangels a lot of shit, but they're kind of cool themselves. Like, they have, like, one of them, like, attains a new level of power because dealing with you, Ilhan, before he has fully evolved... Was that push that pushed him to the next level you know, where he such like a tribulation that he was able to eclipsed break where he was stuck for like chaos cycles? Mm. <laughs> he's sitting there like I never I can't be more strong, and then he's like suddenly like no, I am God. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not just an angel. I'm the new God. Let's get it. But he wasn't. He wasn't. <laughs> you will have beat him before he even <laughs> he was. He even gained like. A domain he was strong at, like like a god's domain. He gained that. Of light. But it's like, what is light to the essence of fire? Okay. Mm. What is light to creation? <laughs> I mean, like. I could let light be. Okay. Basically, this is a story about a universe of higher level beings that are salty that they aren't you, Ilhan. Except his dad. His dad's really cool about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I mean, like. <laughs> Way. He well, that's because his, his dad son. is like, oh, yeah, my son. Hello. He also exactly. saw it in the, in the yeah, he could see the future. Gabriel also has a problem. He's just like a son where he acquires women without trying. Good old Gabe. He didn't want to. Uh -huh. And his wife is kind of scary about it. Uh -huh. But she allows oh, those the, this one angels. archangel chick, she allows her to be a second existence around her. Which is the a only lot. reason why it's allowed. Because you, Ilhan, is literally like, if you make my mom sad, I will erase your existence. Yeah, that's a thing. And that is a very legitimate threat at that point in the series. He's like, like, Gabriel, please. If my mom is sad, you just don't get to be, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you, Ilhan, become built quite a grudge with pretty much all of the other higher factions. There's just an arc where he like starts like turning them against each other. And then shortly after where he just beats them all single-handedly. 
it's pretty great. Well, we're not going to, I mean, like, uh, we can still do it. We didn't even get to talk about it. What's one thing that you absolutely must absolutely okay. talk about? I just have to talk about auto accuracy and his goddamn inventory bag. Okay. It's combined. Yeah. When he gains the title of Suzano, his concealment exists, right? Yes. People, people just give him titles, like news articles, but one of my favorite titles is Suzano, and he gains that ability. The, I think one of the great cataclysms actually happens, and people are fighting the, these, like, monster breaks. It, it, was was right it, du- it was a dungeon break. Yeah, and this was right as, this is the same situation where Orochi shows up as the final thing he needs to deal with. Yeah, so it was, it was a relatively big point in the story. Sure. Basically, he gains this ability called, like, auto accuracy, where, like, he can't miss. And he has, this might actually be later in the story, but whatever, there's multiple things that lead up to this. But he has this ability where he can recall, like, the inventory bag, the, the angels give him, like, a spatial bag. Yeah. But they keep upgrading it because he keeps specifically requesting that they do that. So it starts having things like weight transfer, remote grab, management in your head. Like, so he starts being a master of inventory management and starts doing things like, oh, I'm now above the person in the air. I will transfer all the, the weight in my bag into my spear and then just drop down onto the opponent. Yeah. But he's literally got like, the remains of a hundred thousand twenty ton beasts that he's hunted in the past two days. A bunch of dragons just yeah. or dragons in corpses. his bag. So he's literally got like thousands of tons of On weight. Top of ores and or hundreds of thousands of tons and, of weight. And he just punctures them. And and he just like changes it into like his feet. <laughs> like moving all of his weight other places. Because before he was just hard body. He had like a bunch of space, but he didn't have weight management on it. So he, the whole time he's fighting, he's waiting just holding by this a bunch of back. fucking shit, <laughs> and then they're like, like they're like, oh, we just put weight management on it, and like, but want to keep the weight though. Yeah, he would like swing the bag at people. Can, and I, shit. can I decide what I do with the weight? Like, I, I'd like to do stuff. with And that. Erna was like, "Yeah, we're gonna do it." And then they like, so called they, they a do bunch of angels down to do their ritual to make it happen. You can't see the they don't movements Richard's done. making, but they're intricate. He's so much more broken with it because he starts doing things like, "Oh, well, recollecting and doing stuff." Like, I can do all sorts of stuff with recollecting. So, like, he'll do a thing where, like, he'll throw the spear, and then because the, he'll kill an enemy when one hit, his concealment doesn't break because he killed the enemy with the attack and he's a reaper and because the spear is inside the person it's still quite now it's he an recalls item. the spear in the and thing, the, the in monster the body, and the monster part of the it's item right so back in this thing so he's monster fishing oh so, yeah so he'll just without anyone being able he'll run into a situation where thousands of people are fighting for their lives and he'll just appear in bone spears and like random spears or just or just a dragon spear, bone spear like one spear but thrown like a thousand times in 10 seconds mm. will just like kill a thousand Wait, he, here's the thing it's coming from the sky by the way the Japanese, Japan's having a dungeon break. Everything's doing, people are dying. And all you see is just this rain of spears. We don't know where it's coming from and it's invisible. <laughs> it's Susano! It's the God of it's War! The God of it's Storms! The God of War is coming! The God of Storms is coming down. The Storm God is saving us, saving Japan. And like, like, and then like America's claiming it because it's the same dude. It's the same thing where an invisible spirit is killing all the problems in San Diego. Oh, yeah. And they had a different name from Nair. Yeah, he gets a bunch of fun titles. Like, <laughs> it starts at Sungdane Bolt. Sungdane Bolt. Yeah. But it goes he wears all, he was place. wearing out, there was a Hulk and an Iron Man mask in Saving Korea. It was great. Yeah. So he ran super fast and he had on, uh, he was from the university, so they called him Sungdane Bolt. <laughs> Terrible. It was, yeah, it was great though. But no, it's, oh, it's such a fucking fun thing. Eventually he gets bone pillars. That he starts using in the place of those spears, and he gains into the thing called auto accuracy, so his attacks can't miss. Mm. So he just starts doing things where he summons bone pillars over everyone and just lets them fall on everyone. They'll hit where they're supposed to. It's I, fine. I need to talk about my girl, the mansion. Okay, he makes a mansion. People are confused. Why did he buy the land there? Why is he making a mansion? Because we're about to be because invaded. He blacksmiths a mansion of all of his breakthroughs in engineering. It can fly. It has auto defense systems. It has a thought spirit for the AI. It can mm. capture the the energy and the records from the things it kills to power itself. Oh and man! He builds these mirrors oh, that can I shoot one. laser beams. Of <laughs> they, like, all of the lawn ornaments and fountains and seats and <laughs> windows and everything. It's just like a fancy ass mansion. All of the bushes, 
all of it are traps. They have multiple purposes <laughs> and they kill things. Like you get, the pool is the most scary. The pool is the most scary thing he has. The pool just murders things. Yeah. So the, the, the fucking like the spirit <laughs> of the world that we were talking about earlier, he takes that spirit and puts it in the house. It was able to control this power of the world, so it's able to manage all the different traps and systems in the house. But eventually, he keeps adding so many more that he has to build god tier items to improve her capabilities. Keep in mind, she's also was really sad because she was just born and she was so pretty because she was, and then you killed her instantly. She was just born and died instantly, and she's just like, "Can I get a body one day, please?" I was so. He's like, "Yeah, sure. Like, surf me well, and I can definitely make you a body." So she worked really fucking hard. So much like her brain was getting torn apart by having to manage everything at the same time. So she, he made her a sweet straw hat that made her mental capabilities like a thousand times better. And she's like, oh, God, it'll be easy now. Now I'm going to craft a thousand more of those mirrors. And you got to control it at the same time. <laughs> it's, so it's, not gonna get for each, it's not going to get it one times harder for each one. So, like, you know, she'll figure out a system to manage them, no, like, bulk-wise. It'll be fine. fine. It eventually becomes, like, this whole thing where you just see it, like, the world is being rotted by monsters, so it's just literally going around the world, killing all of them. And it's got, like, dungeon trap effect that draws monsters to it. So in all frenzy. the waves that break come towards it, so it can kill more things. And it's also, it gets its own experience and shares experience with Ohan and it's everyone else. It's his equipment. It's that his counts? Equipment. That should yeah. count? No, that... That, he's not, that he's is not it's a cohort. Her, but that should count. So it's not, yeah. So like it counts as a thing that he has. It's it's dumb. He perfectly learns the system and abuses the fuck out of it. Of course he does. Alright, so but I think that is probably unfortunately all we have time for on this episode. Uh, we may actually time. come back to I'm this like, one because I, I, I would love to so talk more about this one. To talk about. I do have a tiny bit of business, just the tiniest. Uh I have a super long review because we have some reviews in here. It's actually from a person that we know fairly well. I'm going to let Richard read this one. This is a good one. Which one is it? The fucking long one in the middle. Oh, man. Fun times. From from Keep On Laughing. From Keep On Laughing. He's a friend from our Discord. He's a friend from our Discord. Discord. Friend friend of the podcast. He is indeed a friend of the podcast. The enthusiasm you guys have for the book that you were talking about sends me running to start the book or pick the novel back up. And I find myself genuinely enjoying the book more after listening to you guys chat about it. You drop hints and mention events in passing that make me want to rush through the novel to the events that you touch on, just so I can experience these scenes myself. I would almost prefer more slight spoilers from later in the series to add further fuel to the fire. Personally, I think it's the genuine enthusiasm that you guys have for the book you're talking about that makes listening to your podcast so great. I legitimately pulled my vehicle over when your most recent episode ended to find the machine reading of the latest novel on youtube because i couldn't start reading until i got home from work unfortunately chapters 1 through 20 have been deleted for some reason so i'm stuck until my lunch break looking forward to opening the book and giving it a read (laughs) wow wow shout outs to keep on laughing right dude yeah he actually requested this episode personally yeah so i'm uh happy happy to be able to acquiesce we really did need to do absolutely this was such a 25 chapters is like I d- oh, no, no no you you definitely like you you read book I'm not I we didn't like, we didn't have much this room book either goes crazy places. crazy places it's not what it starts with it is completed at 348 with like four after chapters the yes. four after chapters are so so good oh yeah they are the oh, fucking cherry on top those. of this Sunday please please read the soccer game please <laughs> soccer game is one of the after oh. chapters mm. oh my god. All right, uh, we have a didn't even get to talk about segment, but it feels like this one's uh, going to be... This is a whole didn't get to yeah, talk this about. Yeah, this one's that. We got to do a shout out to our patron. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have... He's not on the level where we give him a personal shout out, but like... He uh, gets, he he gets one, one for free because he's the first one. James. That's fine. It that's wasn't anonymous know, on the thing. And like, that's a first name. And he joined the Discord. He was like, I love you guys. I love... I, I like the podcast. I put... I, I, I gave you a pay... Uh, like, yo, I, it's up to the Patreon. Shout outs to him. Yeah, man. He's listening to this episode before all you jerks. Not, <laughs> not that you guys are jerks, but like. No, we appreciate you all. Yeah, so, so, James, this is for you. James, don't tell them. Don't tell them I called them jerks. No, I take that. that no, no. Listen to it a week early and tell everyone what they're missing out on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do that. But we are uh, putting this up behind the Patreon because now we kind of have to. And it would be unfair to James if we didn't. Exactly. If you want to listen to the next episode a week before everybody else, just like James. 
then you can join our Patreon. Uh, it's just Tiger Coaster. Uh, uh, we'll be putting up various bonus content up there. Yeah, as we well. got yeah. we got a ton of it. And We've already got some up behind there. There's some good stuff. We, we got. Well, apparently, we have an editor set up now, so we're gonna be a lot more regular. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, did, did did you like just the bill when we did that? There's another episode of that back up there. Yeah. Uh, did you like? Uh, do you like Common Rider? We have a couple episodes of a show about that. Like we could just this goes up at some point. We got bonus content, you guys. If you like hearing us talk, we talk about a lot of shit. We could just do that. That. Nostalgia goggles. We could throw that boat in there. Oh nice. man, nostalgia <laughs> goggles. That was a fun fucking show. I want to do that again. Yeah, that was a good time. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's there's so much we didn't get to talk about because, like, I, oh, let me do. Uh, th- we got we got a Twitter. It's tiger at tiger coaster. Go see us on Facebook at Tiger Roller Coaster Productions or something like that. It's, and fuck Patreon. Uh, it's Tiger Coaster on Patreon. Yeah, uh, I mean it's just right, and join our Discord. There's yeah, yeah join yes, our Discord. Please join our we Discord. We got some fun people on there that uh, you know, when they when something cool happens in a chapter, we all talk about it. And when Overgeared and or, or 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 Nine Star Hegemon Body Art gets an update, I'll be in there. We made specific <laughs> channels for those so nobody could get spoiled. It's a good time. Yeah, it's uh, no, we, we talk about how we're you know can't stop reading Overgeared together. <laughs> yeah, it's actually messing up my reading of other things. That's how much I love Overgeared. Come join our weird branch of the F Five sect. Anyway. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight on Treading the Path of Heaven. What didn't we get to talk about? Like, Just like three things. Do them quick. Ripping off a band aid. His transcendence into a higher level being. That whole scene. And okay. they played up to we, it. We didn't give Erda the respect she deserves because we didn't talk about her a lot, but Erda's great and she deserves to be talked about. And I'm sorry I didn't talk about her enough. This one's for you, Erda. Yeah, man. Right. She gave up evolving for him, okay? Ooh. Like, oh god, she I, pressed B. We touched about Orochi's spear, but like, legitimately, the equipment in this book is so good it could almost be considered another character until it is literally another character. Multiple other characters, it sounds like. When he builds the literal living armor of fire that he can melt weapons into and then can spontaneously generate the form of that weapon out of the armor. That's, yeah, that's... That's the kind of shit I'm looking for in these we didn't even get to talk about. So Richard, you got one on that fucking fire fire forge level armor? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna have to wait for that for the next time we talk about this. Oh man. We're gonna like get a for nice... real. I I will get stuck and in... Alright, so is this a nice Overgeared, I think, just opened up the door to like there's no way we're gonna be able to do overgeared in one. So it's going to be more. So we might as well do other books if we feel like it so deserves it. And this is definitely one that I'd like. Everyone to. else is a returnee. Part one of, and then just yeah, nothing. We'll, we'll let you know when we're done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Part one of. I might just fucking read the whole book for you guys. Honestly, it's so good. It, it did not take me very long once I got into it. And right. it. Like I took a week off because I was reading it too fast, and I felt sad about how soon it was going to go away. <laughs> If I was better at acting, I would definitely do a books on tape of everyone else's returnee because mm-hmm. it's just that fun. Oh, we could organize that. I would permission, yeah, I'd be happy to. That's pretty much going to be it for us this week. We uh, we really do appreciate all of you, and uh, you know we do apologize for any hiatus. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get some stuff That's out more regularly, like we said. Ironing out, man. This is this is happening. We had a bit of a hiatus because we moved and all yeah, that. Yeah, we did both. <laughs> we, the podcast is. Has moved now. Again, we're still in the Portland area, but we moved uh, to a lot closer to the the actual main city. So we're like in apartments now, and this is like harder to manage. But we're going to, damn it! You're gonna get our voices yeah, in we'll, your ears. It's gonna we're, happen. We're gonna keep on keeping on. I can't. I can't promise a schedule, but we'll do what we can. Yeah. No. 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 It's gonna happen. You're just gonna get more of it. It's just like how long it might take. <laughs> no. And everyone else, if they get pay 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 the money. Like not very much. Yeah, but you could listen to it a week before everybody else. Before everybody else and is a returnee. <gasps> and with that, I think it's best we call it a day before Bill gets in his pun bag. <laughs> That's true. You guys have a- Tiger Roller Coaster Productions. Tigers are scary. You try to get off.